is this Saturday at 10 p.m. on Inve Investigation Discovery. Now, up next, beauty tips from makeup mavens Ellen Blair Fowler. Stick around. <laughs> Morning Buzz Live Basketball Wives LA star Jackie Christie, stylist Joe Z, and the folks from Hardcore Pond. It's cool, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My next guests are shaping up to be two of the most famous people on the internet. Their makeup tutorials have over 400 million views on YouTube. They've dipped out beauty advice in Seventeen Magazine, and now they're going to drop some knowledge on us. Please welcome Elle and Blair Fowler. <laughs> So let's do that. How did you guys become like the beauty bloggers of the universe? You know, we didn't plan it. We just started making videos and we slowly grew an audience. Yeah, we just started in our bedrooms in Tennessee and people just started watching. So we kept doing the videos. So what was it that you guys were doing differently or better than anybody else? Or were you just the only ones doing it at the time? It was kind of a combination. There were only a few girls doing it at the time and we were just creating content that people wanted to see. So there was definitely a built-in audience right from the beginning. Have you noticed, like, through all the comments and things, that girls are kind of obsessed a little bit with makeup, mm -hmm. aren't they? They are. I mean, I think it's something about girls. It's just, like, in us to be excited about, like, beauty and fashion and mm -hmm. stuff. We want to look pretty. So you're actually just, you're helping people. That's the whole yeah. idea, is that you're trying to make everybody feel better about themselves. Yeah. Aw, see, that's really cute. <laughs> was there one moment that you can remember that was kind of like an OMFG moment? Probably our first fashion week yeah. when we were invited and we did makeup at one of the shows and then we got to sit front row at some of the shows. So that was just one of those moments where we were like, we're backstage, we're mm -hmm. front stage. Like it was just, it was, and we walked in a show. Yeah, we, so, felt like we kind of dabbled in everything. We also, yeah. Blair was the youngest makeup artist ever at New York Fashion. I was 16. For one of the shows. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, I know, it was really cool. How nervous were you? I was so <laughs> nervous. I, like, I don't really remember it. No, I, I don't think I just like blacked out because I was just so scared. But the makeup looks good. Yeah. That's all that and matters. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't trip on the runway. No. Okay. Yeah. That's two for two. You guys are all right. And, I mean, we crossed our legs when we sat in the front row, so that's three for three. Three for three. You yeah. know what? That is something that a lot of people forget to do. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. some of our favorite celebrities. <laughs> now, uh, the VMAs are tonight. Do you guys have any expectations of who's going to be dressing the best, or do you have any high hopes? I want to see what Lady Gaga wears. Yeah, always. She's always, always so fun, and maybe Rihanna. I don't know. Just I like the crazy ones that kind of get wild with it. Nicki Minaj. She's yeah. always got something going on. She does. Well, how did you guys feel about the new dress for real? Were you guys fans or not fans? I was a fan in theory because I thought it was like you know going outside of the box and but it yeah, it but was weird. I don't. I personally didn't. So you wouldn't wear it. But I, her <laughs> idea behind it was like interesting. Yeah. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Now, uh, tell me about this book that you guys have out, your novel. Give me the dates. Yeah. It's <laughs> called To Meet the Glitter, and it's based on two sisters, Sophia and Ava London, who moved to L.A. to kind of be in the YouTube beauty and fashion world. So Weird, this story I sounds know. familiar. I know. I love it. <laughs> Is it all autobiographical? No. We had a lot of fun being able to kind of make up our own twist that we kind of wish happened and just kind of elaborate on some of the things that did happen and just expand them and kind of fantasize. So it's fun? Does it get salacious? It does. It does. Oh, so this is the fantasy part of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to try and live up to your book then? No. No. <laughs> Sophia and Ava London definitely get into some trouble at the end yeah. of the book, so I oh. would not want to see that. Okay. In that situation. Well, then yeah. try and stay safe. I can't <laughs> guarantee that you will stay safe here on the bus, but we'll do our best. Now, uh, we have Jason out in Times Square, and he's got some ladies that want some beauty and style advice. They have some questions for you guys. You ready? Yes. Hey, Jason, tell me who you have out there. Yeah, hi, Carrie. Hi, girls. Hi. I have Essence here who wants to uh, ask you guys a question. I always look super tired in the mornings. Are there any makeup tricks I can use to look more refreshed? Go. That's a very good question, because this yeah. is a morning show, and I go through that every day. I do, yeah. too. I suffer from insomnia, so I do. I go through this every single morning. And for me, um, two things, and they both involve your eyes, because that's where you look the most tired. So putting a nude liner on your inner, inner waterline kind of makes you look more awake, and it brightens up your eye area if you have any redness. 
and also doing a illuminating highlighter underneath your eyes over top of your concealer. Oh, you can yeah. do Now, how do you run, you, don't you run the risk of looking sort of like a, a backwards raccoon when you, you do think, that wrong? You would think you would, but it actually reflects the light a little bit, not in a glittery way. Don't you glitter under there. You would look like a little glittery raccoon, which wouldn't be that bad, actually. Right? <laughs> I'm thinking, like, I want to rock this glittery. Yeah, right? right? Oh, oh, great. Right. Next time you guys come back, you're like, look where that is. Yeah. Okay, I want credit for this. <laughs> Jason, can we have that girl number two? Yeah, I've noted that a glittery raccoon look. <laughs> but tomorrow, I'll note that. Michelle? I have trouble taming my flyaways, and I wanted to know the best way to prevent them. Preventing flyaways, how do we do that? Is that an easy way? Well, there are a couple different tips. The first one is you can take a dryer sheet and just run it over your hair, and that is going to eliminate the static electricity. That works. Kind of, yes, it totally does. Works. And it makes your hair smell really good. Yeah, it does. That's, That's amazing. Yeah. What else can you tell me? Uh, another thing, <laughs> silk pillowcase. Yeah, we both sleep on silk pillowcases, and it's because it does two things that's great for beauty. It prevents your hair from breaking. Mm -hmm. Cotton tends to pull at your hair when you sleep, mm -hmm. so flyaways won't exist if you're not breaking your hair off. And then also it prevents breakouts because your skin I doesn't guess. suffocate. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you have an extra silk pillowcase for sure. me. Maybe I can borrow one. Jason, thank you for that one. Do we have any other questions? Yeah, we have two more. Okay. How can I touch up my mascara at the end of the day before a happy hour um, without getting that spider clumpy oh. wash look? I, She's absolutely right. That is the worst feeling in the world. I love this tip. I feel like everything else is pretty simple to touch up. When you go to your mascara, it clumps all over the place. I find that if you rub a little bit of Vaseline between your fingers and then rub it over your lashes, it reactivates the mascara. And then you can do another coat of mascara over top of it. And it won't get all smudgy and run? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. How? What's the magic wow. there? Vaseline. Vaseline. Oh, but I mean, Vaseline. You, Vaseline you would normally use to like take things just off. Just a little bit. No, just a little bit. You just kind of rub it between your lashes. Vaseline is my all-time favorite beauty thing because if you put it on your feet before you wear heels, you won't get blisters. Get out. And I do it even on my like expensive shoes and it doesn't hurt the shoe. What yeah. else do you use Vaseline for? I you can use Vaseline for everything. <laughs> But I have a question for Blair. Okay. I heard a little uh, birdie told me that maybe you had an ex-boyfriend who might have worn makeup at times. Oh. oh. So my question is, firstly, is it appropriate for a man to ever wear makeup socially? <laughs> and part two of that question is at what point during the day or which event should he wear the makeup to? Wow. Okay, these are really good questions because I happen to find rocker jeans hot, and every once in a while I will run into a man with eyeliner. Guy liner. Okay, it's different if you're a pirate or a rocker. This guy was neither. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, let. I think in certain situations, if they want to, it's up to themselves. They can choose. They're their own person. Let them live their life. But, that being said, I personally prefer a more manly man to a not. Okay, does that make sense? It's all up to the eyes of the beholder. It is. Okay, thank and you, if, ladies. If you want to have shit, you should go for it. Okay, thank you so much. It was so great to have you guys. Uh, Beneath the Glitter is available now, and we've got 10 signed copies to give away. Look at that. For a chance to win, follow us on Twitter at VH1. Tweet us the buzzword glitter and add the hashtag VH1 buzz. As always, official rules apply. Up next, Jim.